Atlantic Health has been partnering with Montclair State University in a series of conferences to bring together the arts and healthcare communities. Together with the Montclair Art Museum, they sponsored Growing Up Autism, a conference to shed light on how the creative arts plays a vital role in healing. We think of autism in this limiting way and sometimes inadvertently contribute to the difficulties a person has with autism. I think that teaching autistic kids is very much like teaching any, any child, except sometimes in the early stages the younger children may be having trouble coordinating uh, where their eyes are going, where their hands are going. Sometimes the eyes are going this way and their hands are going that way. I try different things, try to be flexible, and what kicks in, you know, that's what I go with. Leon Morden's son is diagnosed with Down syndrome as well as autism. He attended this Healing Arts Coalition conference in hopes to find an organization that may provide his son a more active lifestyle, or how he likes to call it, keeping him hip. Hip meaning keeping him, keeping him happy, independent, and productive. So I'm always looking for various tools. In this, in this particular case for today, I'm looking at how art might help his life. The conference welcomed many guests to discuss therapy through the creative arts, including artist Justin Kanha. In t in th I, th I think um, in 2011, I graduated from self transition class at Salvation Army. One of the ways he um, you know, supports, he pays half the rent, I pay half the rent. Um, and uh, he supports himself in large part through these uh, pet portraits, which um, if you want one, you know, he'll make it for you, um, and they're all really good. Autistic people can be very creative and have many gifts to offer. It is essential to create a culture of possibilities through the arts so that people living with autism can show their strengths.